Thanks so much for joining me tonight. Uh, my name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make cute embroidery kits for beginners. And I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time, uh, Monday through Friday. And we work on uh, little projects like this from beginning to end. Uh, so thanks so much for joining me here. Uh, so let's get going on this guy tonight. We're working on our auto space embroidery. This is the embroidery of the month. Um, we got really far last night. We finished the sunshine. We finished this whole entire planet. We did um, some stitching on uh, the little chain stitch dome on here. We did a whole lot. Oh, hey, Kimberly, happy St. Patrick's Day to you too. All right, and I'm kind of just like, let's go right to left and just kind of use up the thread as we went, like how we did last night. I think that'll be good. So I'm gonna start with this orange that I happen to have a little piece of ready to go. And let's start with the star, then all of these little center flames. Uh, and the center flame is that orange, and then the orange is done. I don't think we'll have enough thread for all that. I'll have to get fresh, but um, we'll just get as far as I can with this thread, and then we'll um, just, I think we'll get that dark blue and finish finish that all up. So, all right. I'm gonna do that method where I just kind of leave out a piece of thread to finish, um, to do like the one stitch plus weaving it in. And I'm just gonna let that be, and we'll just, start stitching the rest of it. That's been a, like a nice nice way to do it for me here yet. Oh, I think you guys are a little blocked off here. Hold on, there we go. Oh, Kimberly says done and two thirds done on the hyacinths. Ugh, so fun. Oh, that's great. We were walking outside today and uh, dad was saying where the snow crocuses are gonna come up and stuff. And I'm like, just like, oh, snow crocuses. It'll be so nice um, once all those flowers are are blooming and the daffodils. So we've only had like two nice days here, two days that you could even consider even close to spring. Hey, Cheryl. Um, so, you know, we aren't gonna get flowers in those two days, but I'm imagining them. That'd be nice. Nice, nice. So I think we might get real close to finishing this guy tonight. Um, I did start another tatting project today. I'll have to show you guys that later. Um, but I'm working my way through that snowflake book of tatted patterns. And by working my way through, meaning I haven't done anything since the last time we talked about it. Oh, Kimberly says, I'm changing a few colors so they match the ones in your own garden. Ugh, perfect. I love that so much. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, I'm, I, I couldn't do the first snowflake from that book because I didn't know how to do a lock join and a mock pico. So I'm like, you know what? I'm chilling today. I'm going to look how, I'm going to look up how to do that on YouTube. So I figured that out, out and now I can do this other snowflake that I, that I didn't have. And I haven't tatted in a little while. So that was just kind of fun to get those supplies out again. So I'll show you that. And my mom uh, just made this really cool tatted piece. Uh, it's a tatted sunflower. So I'll have to show you guys that too. But we'll work on this for a little bit first. All right. That's our first little bit done. I'm going to come back later and um, I'll come back later and do this last little stitch. I'm going to just start right away on, on this. And you know what? Maybe I'll just... Um, Maybe I'll do the same thing. Maybe I'll uh, just start. I mean, I could just, eh, I'll just weave in the ends. Never mind. I was thinking, oh, I could just start this with, um, which is like leaving a little bit hanging out. But I think this will actually be easier. Let's just weave it in now. One, two. Uh, Robin says, so do we get to see your mom this time? Probably not. <laughs> uh. Probably not. All right, I'm gonna stitch. I think I'm gonna have this go all the way around. Like I, I, I could probably just start it coming off of this red, but I think I wanna see the whole shape of this orange on the inside of this red. I'm gonna do that. All 
Well, I got to see Chad outside a lot today, and we got to just be outside a whole ton. And, and uh, Dad is collecting, um, collecting the sap from the tree. So we recorded how much sap was collected and, and all that. Oh, Kimberly, I did not bring George and Martha um, on the trip here with me. So when we get back, I'll uh, like on Monday, I'll have to read another George and Martha. Because I love him, love them so much. <laughs> so on Monday, I'll, I'll read another George and Martha. We'll have a George and Martha and then crafts uh, time. That'll be silly and fun. Alrighty, so here is the last stitch here. Let's weave in those ends. I think I have enough probably for um, this second flame over there, but I don't think I'll have enough for the third, which is fine, but I'll probably switch over to an, another color, like finish the rest of the spaceship first, I think. Then we'll come back to this orange. Kind of doing all this in a weird way this time. Usually I do like a whole motif and then move on and I just have all these little strands of color of threads laying around but this time I'm just kind of using up a thread and wherever that color is used and then starting fresh somewhere else with a different color don't usually work that way all right let's grab this and again I think I'm gonna go across this edge too but just enough for for this little flame, I think. Thanks for the follows, you guys. All right. So this is like some small little curves in here. So I am making my stitches a bit smaller just to get those curves. So I think we're primarily doing a whole pile of back stitch today. But there's some there's some French knots hanging out hanging out here too. Hi Sally. So yeah, it's supposed to rain here tomorrow, I think. So um Saturday we'll probably be doing the um maple syrup. That'll be fun. We drove past um, some people that do maple syrup in the area and they have like a whole forest and instead of just putting like a bag on each tree, um, instead of having a bag on each tree to collect the sap, they just have like these little tiny tubes that connect all the trees and then it goes into like a, you know, 50 gallon or like whatever those gigungus pails are. Um, it goes into one of those. Oh, yes, happy thing or happy. I was gonna say happy Thanksgiving. Happy uh, St. Patrick's Day. Um, oh, Kimberly says, I like the idea of not having a knot on the top. I made my thread too short. Oops, shoot. Oh, ah, okay. I hope I didn't just, um, oh no, Kimberly, I think I just deleted, deleted your message. Hold on, unhide user on this channel. Okay, Kimberly, hopefully, ah, shoot. I think I, I think I froze you. Let's see if this works. Okay, I, I think I think you're back. <laughs> Sorry, Kimberly. I was trying to scroll up to see the comments and it, it, it clicked a whole bunch of clicks all at once. So sorry about that, but I, I think you're fine now. Oh, there, you're good. Um, a bag, here people use buckets to collect sap. So, well, okay, so they go in the bag first and then um, then they're collected in buckets after. Uh, so that's that's kind of where where it's at for that. Okay, I can now thread this. I gotta cut these the same length. But yeah, so the bags hang on the trees. But yeah, the super duper serious people, they actually 
don't have anything hanging on the tree. They they have like tubes that go right like into the spigot thing. And then the tubes like are all at an angle, so they all like you you know, the sap goes down using gravity, and then the tubes end up in like a fifty gallon barrel. Uh, but you can just drive past like these little forests and they just have these like these blue tubes all over. Just kinda goofy. But yeah. Dad's has them in, in bags and then he we went around and collected it into the five gallon buckets and then then we'll uh And he did confirm or my parents did confirm that it's it's a forty to one situation. So like if you have forty gallons of sap it makes one gallon of um syrup um they have a they don't have like a whole building special for it they just um they have a little oven thing that you the sap you pour into the top and then you uh, have like a wood fire going underneath it and then uh, by the time the sap gets to the end or whatever it's siphoned off enough of the liquid i guess um, for it to, for it to work. And, um, that's, and it's, then they can just roll, it's on wheels, so they can roll that out outdoors. So they don't have, like, a, one of those barns that, you know, they have a permanent fixture in there that, that, um, um, they boil off the liquid or anything like that. But it is kind of a neat contraption, it's just like a, a big tub almost, but theirs has like, it like swirls around so you can see like the different levels of where the, like how much the syrup is cooked off in each area, I guess. I don't know. I will see you on, on Saturday, I'm thinking. So we'll see how it goes, but we checked on the trees and emptied them into buckets and hopefully there's more tomorrow. Although tomorrow was supposed to rain, that's why we did it. How long did they cook it? I don't know. I think it was like a whole day thing though. Um, so we counted, dad has about 12 gallons right now. So that's, that's what's been collected over the past couple days. I think he has like 16 trees tapped right now. But not all of them are are doing much yet, so I don't know. The weather's got to be just right for it all, too. But it's interesting. I, I think it's kind of cool. Okay, just trying to match this thread up here. All right, there we go. Alrighty, so let's... I switched to blue. I'm just kind of going left to right. So I'm going to finish um, the spaceship thing here. And then is there blue somewhere else? Oh yeah, so then the, the rocket ship is all the same color blue. So we'll probably jump up there next. And then, you know, I'll probably do this green and get the alien next. I think, I think that's the plan. Oh, shoot. Uh, Kimberly says, my friend taps... Oh, her black walnut trees. Oh, that's interesting. That's about a 100 to 1. Oh, so interesting. So we have a bunch of black walnut trees in this area. Huh. I wonder, uh, that'd be interesting to do like just a taste test difference. Oh, I, I went the wrong way. I wanted to go this way first. 100 to 1 though. Yeah, that's, that's different. Be fun to try though. I'm assuming it's probably the same time of year. Uh, with the maple trees, it's you have to um, it has to freeze at night and thaw during the day, and that those are the conditions. All right, YouTube, let me know if I'm back there. It made me reconnect, so don't know what that's about. So hopefully we're okay again. I think we're still on TikTok just fine though. Alrighty. Well, I suppose I could do the sewing method again. That that went really quick last night. Let's let's do that again. So let me get up top here. So right now I'm doing the stabbing method where I'm coming all the way out and then um, going from the top and bringing all the way 
back, whereas the sewing method, let's come up and do that. I'm gonna have to go upside down for that because I can only do that like right to left. The sewing method is where you go in and out um, in the same motion. Um, this does work a whole lot better if you have your fabric a bit looser in the hoop. Then you can help like push down with your thumb and um, get that nice spot there. All right, hopefully, oh, there we go. Okay, oh, you're good. Okay, weird. Okay, sorry, the like the YouTube chat's being super weird. Okay, she mixes most of hers with maple. Oh, interesting, so she does like black walnut with with the maple. I'm guessing it's the same time of year. I'm gonna have to look into that. That'd be kind of interesting because there are like just a ton of black maples or black uh, walnuts in this area. Seems like it would be a specialty. I wonder if it's as sweet or what the flavors look like compared to um, the maple. All right, I think this little line is the dark blue too. Yep, all right, just had to check my pattern. Oh, it does mesh with maple, interesting. Got this little flame to finish. Um, the, this flame is the same color as the ones up there though, so. Oh, the season meshes. Okay, so similar. So it must be the same process, like where it has to freeze um, freeze overnight and thaw during the day. Oh, thanks, Denise! Uh, Denise is here. So gifted I haven't embroidered since I was a kid. Uh, I love embroidery just because it's, it is just, feels like a simple, uh, craft. Like, you can just follow the lines, like you're coloring in a coloring book a little bit. Which is basically exactly what we're doing here, just following the lines. Every once in a while you do a different stitch for funsies, or you fill in a little space for funsies. Oh, your season is over now. Yeah, we've only had a couple spring-like days. Oh, Denise says I'm finding it so zen. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's the best part of the day when I can just chill and craft for for a little bit in the evening here. Oh, I was going to do the sewing method and now I totally stopped again. Let's do it now. In and out. I think this last stitch will do the stabbing method. I'm just so much more used to doing the stabbing method that I just kind of default to that. I think we'll go a forward stitch here. And then I'm going to just jump down and start this little row of stitches. Here, I'll try the sewing method again. There we are. In and out on that line. And I'm hoping I have enough blue left to do the outline of the rocket ship up there. I think that's the only thing that's blue. And it's it's everything but the wings and those little dots. But as far as the outline goes, like the nose cone there and all the rest of it is, is the dark blue. Okay, and last one here. All right, cool. All right, so I'm gonna weave in the end there. It looks cute from the back. I like all these colors together. Should do something else with these colors. Get in there. All right, good enough. All 
All right, and let's get up to the spaceship. I do have a lot on this needle yet. Okay, so let me look at it closer. I can't see from that far away. Yeah, okay, so it's this whole outline and then that little nose cap. Alrighty. Ooh, I think I might even just like weave in the ends of those greens, that, those stitches that are already there. Make it easier. Always nice having some stitches available already. All right, and I think I'm gonna get this nose cone line first. It's like one of those things like, how to do the whole shape with one without picking up your pencil sort of thing. That's kind of what I'm seeing this as. Do this line first and then go all the way around and end up, end up in the same place. Oh, you were Kimberly says I was looking around for something to tote my embroidery in. I guess it's time to make a zipper pouch. <laughs> yep, I did. Um, I did bring this in. Um, I brought this in the swan zipper pouch, except for it's not big enough for the hoop. Um, that zipper pouch. So I'm thinking I need to make a zipper pouch, maybe even with a curved top that's like exactly the size of this hoop. So it could be like like a curved top zipper to like here, and then like a squared off um pouch i think that would that would be like just perfect that'd be nice for travel oh yes i gotta hang out with chad kitty all day today he wandered around with us okay i think we'll get two more there i'm gonna try and do this all with the sewing method Good practice for the sewing method. All right, well, do the stabbing method just to get prepped again. All right, now rotate around. Ooh, I gotta stand up. I think my leg's falling asleep here. Uh oh, I'm gonna redo that stitch. I did not go down in the right spot. Ooh, and I'm all kind of shortened here. I gotta snip this in. Get a nice clean end here again. There we are. Oh, what camera and lighting equipment do I travel with? I just have Two phones, I have an old iPhone and then my normal phone. So one's on YouTube and one's on TikTok. And then I just have like some random tripods. One can grip onto the side of, like is a bendy one that can just grip to the side of the wall here. And then one's actually an old microphone stand that we've um, rigged. Uh, to hold a phone, so not much. It's pretty scrappy. Can definitely do better. I didn't. I don't even bring a light here anymore. I mean, obviously, like we got some pretty good shadows going here, but um, so it's a little temporary thing. Maybe I'll. And I don't have any mics or anything um, on location here either. So, eh, sometime we might amp that up a little. Oh, thanks, Abby. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's just, it's literally just my phone and the phone's mic and all that right now.
Okay, a couple stitches on the bottom here. I feel like I'm running out of thread a little bit, but I'm hoping I have enough for this, because that's it. That's all I'll need. Uh-oh. That looks a little funny. There we go. We'll be cutting it close, but I think we've got it. I can feel that I'm like not quite as accurate with my stitches. Like this line's gonna be a little bit bendy. Uh, and it's because I'm using that sewing method. I just am not as accurate with it, but it's good practice. All right, last stitch, I'll get more precise. All right, we won at Thread Chicken. Love when that happens. All right, let's weave in that end. Then I think we'll grab some green next and do the little alien. And then uh, I think uh, this guy's wings are green. So maybe we can get all that. And then I think we just have the rest of those flames to do that we kind of um, kind of disregarded a little bit, I think. All right. Cute. All right, let's do the green on the alien. I believe he's completely green, yes. All right. Oh, and I have a little thread left, good. Excellent. I don't have to get, uh, I already have one split. So let's see. Gosh, I don't know if this is gonna, I don't know if I'll have enough for all of this, but maybe we will. I think we'll be playing thread chicken again for this. All right, I'm gonna weave into the backs of these stitches here, I think. Let's see, I think I'll probably stitch to here, then jump in and do the face, and that'll get me back to here, and then I'll jump and do the little antenna, and then end up back down there. I think that's my plan. Oh, Kimberly says, Alyssa, your nails still look great. Uh, did you order the powder? I didn't order the powder yet. I'm going to uh, right when I get home, or maybe before, like maybe, maybe I'll order it tomorrow, and you know, then it'll be close to being there when I get home. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. Maybe it'll be a good day to order stuff online. Uh, up close, they don't look so great, um, but they're they're passable yet tonight. But like some is coming off on some nails, and I can definitely tell that they're deteriorating. Like they have they have like some cracks um, going through them. But all in all, not too shabby. But I did have to redo these once already, so these aren't my. Um, Someone mentioned yesterday or two days ago that, oh, your nails look great still, but I had already redone them once. So this is, uh, for this week, this week of doing this, I think I painted them Saturday night. Um, and this is the second time I've, I've, not the second time I've redone them. I've redone them once, so this is the second um, go. I just used the same color. So I'm still only getting, like, not even a day sometimes, but like three days tops. I guess we're pushing maybe four now, but that's that's unusual. And if, just with that new like base layer that I got recently, that's that's gained me like another day. But at the idea that I could gain like six or seven days, I mean, that's that's my goal here. So that's that's the plan. That'll be the experiment. Can I get more decent days out of it by using using that powder? Little green smile. So I'll order that, yeah, maybe tomorrow. So hopefully next week we can give it a try. That'd be fun. Or maybe I'll just do like a live on Saturday or something. I'll, I'll like 
basically do a box opening and a, attempt to put it on. That'll be interesting because I don't have... Oh, I have to order the supplies to, like, deal with the nails, too. Like, the right files and, I don't know, scrapers and whatever else that one needs. <laughs> so I have to look into that, too, and probably order that stuff. I'll be brand new doing... Trying to get it all to work. That'd probably be a good thing to do live. Then all the people that know what they're doing can tell me <laughs> what to do next. That'd be nice. Okay, I probably could have done this in three. I feel like I'm going a little overboard doing this in four stitches, but we're getting a little bit more of that curve going, I suppose. Oh, Gina says the alien spaceship reminds me of the Jetson car. Yeah, oh man, that'd be interesting to watch those again. I remember that was right after the Flintstones on TV. By us, at least. Um, uh, I don't know, I suppose, yeah, maybe we would... I don't know, I think we might actually have a beauty supplies stuff near, I mean, not near, not not here, but like at home, I think we might actually have one of those. I'm not sure though, I've, I've never been to one in our area, but I think, I think we might have one nearby. I suppose that'd be a way to do it too. I order everything online now, I feel like. All right, I'm gonna get this little antenna now and we'll do um, a little French knot in there. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna do one more stitch here. I, I should have gone my that stitch in the other direction because I don't wanna do a French knot where I end up, uh, like, because I, I finished my stitch up the, at the top here, but that's hardly any space to come back up again for a French knot and I wanna have more space in between, so. Now let's do it. All right, good. Do a little forward stitch here. And thanks again, everyone, for joining me. I know I'm I'm on uh, location here again, so it gets a little weird and different, maybe. All right, get the second one. He's looking cute. Chad was so talky today, too. Although it was almost like he wanted to. She's trying to tell us something and we didn't know what he was talking about. Mom thinks he just wanted treats and food. He hadn't been fed yet. But he was probably like, dang, you guys are out here a lot today. It was so nice. Oh, um, Robin says, if it's the powder stuff, it will ruin the beds of your nails. Oh, after some use, but fingernail polish lasts forever. Okay. So my thought is I'd give it a try. And if it feels like it's, um, being weird on my nails, I feel like maybe I do like normal nail polish. Like I got now, like do that in between sessions. So like, you know, have the, the one go for like two weeks and then do the normal nails for like a week so put that on like two different times or whatever and then like do the do it for another couple weeks we'll see yeah i haven't experienced any of that other type of nail shenanigans before so i don't i don't know what it's like on the nails or anything yet so i'll have to i'll have to, it's an experiment so i'll i'll see how this goes and kind of decide what to do from from um from that Oh 
But I held out for a while and now I'm just kind of over having to do it all the time. Okay, two. Ooh, got a little kind of knot in there. Oh, and I think this should be enough green for those wings, I'm hoping. Yeah, then we all, all we have left are those little flames. Okay, I can already just see where to weave in here. Oh shoot, pulled the, pulled the thread out already. There we go. What side am I on? This side, okay. So I'm going to start at the top and then from here I'll probably go with the backs of these stitches and then come back up and go, go back up. I'm just rotating a little bit so I can hold the hoop um, so my hand, my left hand's a little bit closer to the backs of these stitches. This works a little easier. I think we'll do orange next, and then last we'll end with a little bit of red. But for the orange, I'm gonna have to get a whole nother piece out, which is annoying. I guess for the red too. Ah, well, I'll use the excess at some point somewhere. my way over to the other side behind these stitches so it kind of hides the thread and then I'm just turning so it just feels the most comfortable and we're gonna pop up and start this wing and we're gonna have just enough thread again which is great I still think this would be a cute tote bag. Or maybe this one I turn into that rounded um, zipper pouch that would ho hold an eight inch hoop. Like a good like travel embroidery pouch. This, this would be fun for that too. All right, two more stitches and green will be done. Okay, almost there. So let's do the little bit of orange that goes in the center here. Then there's orange that goes in the center there. And then it's just red for the rest. And yeah, I think we need a, oh wait, look. This is a, this is a whole nother piece of orange. Awesome, yay. So I don't have to get a whole new fresh piece of that right now. I do think I do have to get the red though. I don't think I have any 
hiding little red pieces around. Well, this is nice. So here I'm going to do that thing where I just let a piece hang out, I think, again. And we'll, we'll um, use that piece to weave in and do that last stitch. So I'm going to just hold that there. And we'll go around the bend here. And I think two more little stitches here just to get this kind of curve feel. And then we'll do that last bit here. But I think I'll, I'll jump up and do the other orange so I don't have to take um, this off the needle at all. And yeah, we'll play that game a little bit here. So weave in the end. Weave in here. Where'd I end up? When I flip it around, I always kind of lose my bearings a little bit, but we're right here. I think we'll just get this all done tonight. So tomorrow, I mean, maybe it's, I did bring the uh, uh, granny square quilt, so we could try and do some of that straight line stitching. That'd be kind of great to get some of that done. Um, there's always tatting. It'd be fun to do another tatting project. Brought all that with me as well. Oh, and I was going to show that really neat tatted project that my mom did. I wonder if that could be done in an hour. Eh, that might be pushing it. But I'll show you that quick, quick now. Once I'm done with this orange. Done with orange. All right, I want to show you. Uh, we just have red left, but I want to show you um, the tatted project that my my mom made. Like, look at these little guys. Look at these little sunflowers. Aren't they cute? So it's like tatted around the outside and then then woven. Here you can see like against 
against the light color then woven on the on the inside aren't they so sweet so i kind of want to try kind of want to try making one of these here's the um the pattern is from pitsy poo poo <laughs> on on um etsy and i think mom said it was like 75 cents or something uh but isn't it just so fun and it just seems pretty straightforward um, but I'm kind of tempted to try making one of these, these tomorrow. <laughs> Kimberly says, if she's giving you one for her denim, for my denim jacket, I, I, not one of those, but I did get, uh, one, oh, I have to do this part of the orange yet, dang it. Um, I did stitch that other little flower that she made, that denim blue colored flower. I did stitch that onto my blue, um, blue shirt, denim shirt. <laughs> so I do have, I do have some of her tatting on it. Oh, it's one of your sister's favorite flowers. I think it's just um, so sweet. So I, I kind of want to try tatting one. But I think it makes me think that it's going to not take a long time. But I'm thinking it probably is still a couple hour project. I don't know. Alrighty. Um, last up... Oh, that's, a, that's true. Teresa says they would be pretty under a spool of thread on a sewing machine, like on a featherweight. Oh, that's a great idea. I love that idea. Um, red. So this one I do have to cut a new piece. Boo. Haven't had to do that for a little while. I suppose I don't need a ton. Let's just go like that. About 18 inches or so. Pull out our three strands. Two, Yeah, exactly, Amy, or under my, my steampunk sewing machine. That'd be fun. So maybe if I if I end up making one, that's what I'll do with it. Because it would look good against that black. All right, I'm going to do this guy first, and then we'll hop up there. I'll probably do the French knots first, and then, then end up with the... Um, I was going to say lasers, but the... Um, uh, flame. One, two. Um, uh, Kimberly's asking if I use three strands on the spring flowers. No, I, I use two strands on all of those, I believe. Just because they're a little bit smaller, a little bit more delicate. When it's like that, I like to use two strands. Okay, let's get this outer edge. Oh, that's cute. Gina said this would make a cute mobile with, a, with stars hanging from it. That would be really fun. You'd almost just leave it on the embroidery hoop and dangle things from the embroidery hoop. Oops, sorry guys, there we go. Got a little far off there. I said I think we'll get done with this just at an hour. So we'll have a whole day tomorrow to play around with something else. Weaving that in. There's so much thread back here. There we go. 
go. And I think while I'm back here, let's just weave in right here. Let's get the French knots first. Zoop. Ugh, we're gonna be cutting it close with the thread a little bit, but I think we can stretch it out if we need to. backs of the stitches and I'm gonna try and get these in three stitches. Ooh, I think we're gonna repot some violets tomorrow too. So that'll be kind of fun. Haven't done that before. Mom has a bunch of violets and their leaves are so fuzzy and, and nice. But they're getting super crowded, which apparently they like, but um, it's time to split them up again. Always a project to do. All right, last few stitches, and then we're done with this guy. All right, let's weave in the end and then see what we got here. how that turned out. I'm gonna take it out of the hoop too. Let's see what it looks like out of the hoop. Okay, so there we are for tonight, you guys. All done uh, with the embroidery of the month. Uh, so it would be nice to make this into something like a tote bag or a little zipper pouch yet. I do like that idea. So maybe um, I'll keep it around. Maybe next week or sometime we'll, we'll do that. Um, but it would be kind of fun to try maybe a little tatted project. Um, yeah, this looks like more than an hour. This is a whole lot of, of rings around here. Uh, but something. We'll, we'll see. Or maybe a sewing project. Uh, but that is the plan for tomorrow. Uh, some fun extra random guy. Um, so, okay. That is that then, everyone. Thanks again for hanging out with me uh, tonight. I appreciate it a ton. Uh, so have a lovely rest of your evening, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow again at 8.30 p.m. Central. Good night.